Guide to High Protein Meals If you've been watching bodybuilders or fitness influencers recently, you've probably heard of protein being an essential part of their diet, and all for the right reasons. According to Nancy Waldick, dietitian at the Thomas F. Chapman Family Cancer Wellness in Piedmont, protein, considered a macronutrient, plays a significant role in keeping your cells in good shape and keeping your body healthy. Eating the daily recommended protein helps build bones and muscles, repairs tissue, oxygenates red blood cells, eases digestion, and regulates your hormones. Moreover, Waldeck points out, high-protein meals fill you up faster and keep you full longer, making it easier for you to maintain your healthy weight. If you're planning to switch to a high-protein diet this new year, you may want to consider cooking recipes that consist of salmon, chicken, tuna, beef, or pork. Remember that the Dietary Reference Intake, DRI, is at 0.36 grams of protein per pound, 0.8 grams per kg, of body weight. Here are five high-protein dishes and their ingredients to help you reach your fitness goals this 2023. Don't forget to consult a dietitian for your daily recommended protein intake based on factors such as your age, muscle mass, and overall health. 5 High-Protein Dishes I Southwest Salmon Chowder This recipe is perfect for a cold day while also being a rich source of protein and omega-3 fatty acid. Aside from being nutritious, you'll also be delighted to know that you can prepare this meal in less than an hour. In terms of ingredients, the following are everything you need to enjoy this flavorful chowder. 1. 1 and a half pounds of fresh or frozen skinless salmon fillets. 2. 1 and a half cups of water. 3. 2 tablespoons of olive oil. 4. 3 quarters cup of chopped red or orange sweet pepper. 5. A quarter cup of thinly sliced green onions, separate the green from the white part. 6. 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. 7. 3 and a half cups of low-sodium vegetable broth or stock. 8. 3 cups of half an inch pieces red skin potatoes. 9. 2 and a half cups of low-fat milk. 10. 1 half teaspoon of salt. 11. 1 half teaspoon of black pepper. 12. 1 quarter to 1 half teaspoon of ground ancho chili pepper or chili powder. 13. 2 cups of frozen whole kernel corn, thawed. 14. 1 teaspoon of lime zest. 15. 1 chopped avocado. Once you have your ingredients ready, it's time to prepare this quick yet high-protein chowder. Here are the steps to making a Southwest salmon chowder. Step 1. Rinse the salmon fillets. If they are frozen, thaw them first. Afterwards, boil water in a large skillet, then add the fillets. Reduce heat once it boils again. Cover the skillet and simmer for 6 to 8 minutes or until the salmon flakes easily. Remove them from the skillet and discard the water. Flake them into half an inch pieces. Step 2. Using a Dutch oven, heat oil over medium high. Add the sweet pepper and white parts of onions. Cook and stir for 3 minutes or until they're tender. Stir them in flour, then cook and stir for one more minute. Step 3. Gradually stir in the broth. Add the potatoes, milk, salt, black pepper, and ground ancho pepper. Reduce the heat once it boils. Cover it and simmer for 15 minutes or until the broth is slightly thick and the vegetables are tender. Don't forget to stir occasionally. Afterwards, add the corn, then cook and stir for another 2 minutes. Gently stir in the salmon and lime zest. Step 4. Afterwards, top each serving with the green parts of the onions. Feel free to add avocados, lime wedges, and additional ground ancho pepper. And there you have it. You now have a delicious Southwest salmon chowder for you to enjoy. With a serving of 1 and a quarter cup, you are giving your body 22 grams of protein, 24.9 grams of carbohydrates, 2.6 grams of fiber, and more. 2. Healthy rice and chicken dinner skillet. If you're looking for a chicken dish to cook for dinner that is gluten-free, dairy-free, and nut-free, this next recipe is perfect for you. Moreover, it is healthy, delicious, and only needs around 20 minutes to prepare. With that said, it's time to get into the cooking process. For the ingredients needed, the following items are everything you need to prepare this dish. 1. 10 of slash 280g chicken breast, cut in strips. 2. 1 and a half tablespoon of olive oil. 3. 3 minced garlic cloves, minced. 4. 2 cups of chopped zucchini. 5. 1 chopped bell pepper. 6. 1 cup of frozen peas. 7. 2 cups of cooked rice. 8. 1 and a half tablespoon of tamari sauce. 9. 3 thinly chopped scallions. Step 1. Once you have everything ready, start by cooking the chicken breasts in olive oil for 4 minutes. Step 2. Afterwards, add your vegetables and stir for 2 minutes. Stir in the frozen peas for 3 more minutes. Step 3. 
Add in the rice and tamari sauce. Stir them and feel free to add more olive oil if needed. Stir your rice occasionally for 2-3 to three minutes. Don't overdo it as it can affect the overall taste. Step 4. Add the scallions in and stir for one more minute before serving. A serving of this dish gives your body 38 grams of protein, 46 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, and more. 3. Tuna Salad This high-protein recipe is perhaps one of the easiest dishes to prepare. It doesn't matter whether you're someone who knows their way around the kitchen or not. You can easily make tuna salad as long as you have the necessary ingredients. For ingredients, this recipe needs the following. 1. 18 ounces, 3 6-ounce packets of white albacore tuna, drained, low sodium. 2. 1 third cup of Dijon mustard. 3. 3 quarters cup, or 7 ounces, of 2% Greek yogurt. 4. 1 third cup of pepitas. 5. 1 third cup of chopped walnuts. 6. 1 celery of stock, chopped. 7. 1 third cup of dry cranberries, no sugar added. 8. 2 tablespoons of fresh tarragon, optional. 9. 1 half tablespoon of curry powder. 10. 1 teaspoon of turmeric. 11. Sea salt. 12. Pepper. Once you have everything ready, preparing the dish is easy. Simply place all your ingredients in a bowl and mix. Add your salt and pepper according to your preference. Afterwards, enjoy your simple and healthy tuna salad. One serving of tuna salad gives your body 32 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fiber, and more. 4. Shepherd's Pie, Beef Version While the traditional version of this dish involves the use of lamb meat, you can also choose ground beef for its filling. Unlike the previous two recipes, this one takes around an hour to prepare. The following items are the ingredients you'll need to cook the beef version of Shepherd's Pie. 1. For medium russet potatoes, peeled and cut into 2 inch chunks. 2. 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter. 3. 1 half large yellow onion, diced, about 1 cup. 4. 4 large carrots, diced. 5. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. 6. 1 pound of ground beef. 7. 3 teaspoons of kosher salt, divided. 8. 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. 9. 1 third cup of beef stock. 10. 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. 11. A quarter cup of unsalted butter, cubed. 12. Half a cup of heavy cream. 13. 1 half teaspoon of black pepper. 14. 1 cup of frozen peas. 15. 1 tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley. 16. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Once you have everything ready, the following are the steps you need to prepare this dish. Step 1. Boil a pot of water. Add your potatoes and continue boiling for another 10 to 15 minutes or until they're tender. Step 2. Melt your butter in a large skillet. Afterwards, add your onions and carrots. Cook them for 8 to 10 minutes or until they start to soften. Then, add your garlic and beef. Use a spatula to break them up. Add 1 tablespoon of salt. Step 3. Sprinkle your flour over the top of the beef and stir. Add your beef stock and Worcestershire sauce and let it simmer until it thickens. Step 4. Drain the potatoes and return them to the pot. Mash them, then add butter and heavy cream. Afterwards, continue mashing until they're smooth. Season with black pepper and 2 tablespoons of kosher salt. Step 5. Add your peas and parsley to the beef and stir to combine. Top the beef with the mashed potatoes and spread them into an even layer. Once you're done, sprinkle some grated parmesan over the top. Step 6. Turn the oven to broil. Afterwards, place your skillet on a sheet pan and place it under the broiler. Once the potatoes take on some golden edges, remove it from the oven and serve. One serving of beef shepherd's pie gives your body 32 grams of protein, 52 grams of carbohydrates, 9 grams of fiber, and more. V. Plant-Based Tacos If one of your New Year's resolutions is to go on a vegan diet, this high-protein recipe is for you. Instead of meat, your main ingredient would be tofu and it would only take around 20 minutes to prepare. So if you're excited to try this dish soon, here are the ingredients you need to have. 1. 1 tablespoon of olive oil. 2. 1 half large onion, chopped. 3. 4 tablespoon of no added salt tomato paste. 4. Half a cup of water. 5. 2 and a half tablespoon of no salt taco seasoning. 6. 1 and a half tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. 7. 16 ounces of firm or extra firm tofu, drained and pressed. 8. 10 corn taco or fajita shells. 9. 1 cup of guacamole or avocado mashed with lime juice. 10. Pickled onions. 
11. Fresh cilantro, sliced jalapeno, lime wedges, or salsa. Once you have everything ready, you can start making some healthy tacos. The following are the steps you need to follow to prepare this dish. Step 1. Heat oil in a large skillet over medium heat. Afterwards, add your onions and saute until they're translucent. Step 2. Crumble your tofu using your hands. Continue until the texture resembles cottage cheese. Step 3. Afterwards, add your tomato paste and cook for 1 to 2 minutes. Don't forget to stir continuously. Step 4. Pour water into your skillet along with the taco seasoning and apple cider vinegar. Continue stirring until it turns into a thick sauce. Step 5. Add your tofu to the skillet and stir. Cook for a few more minutes until it is hot throughout. Step 6. Add the tofu to your taco or fajita shell. Feel free to customize by adding guacamole, pickled onions, cilantro, and more. Eating two tacos gives your body 10 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, and more. Bonus Recipes Aside from these five recipes, personal trainer Chris has two delicious high-protein dishes you can easily prepare at home. I Chicken Pancake If you're looking for a healthy breakfast meal but have little to no time to make your usual dishes, Chris offers this delicious recipe that is sure to kick off your day on a good note. In terms of ingredients, the following items are everything you need to make chicken pancake. 1. 50 grams of flapjack protein mix. 2. 1 egg. 3. 100 grams of chicken tenderloin. 4. 5 grams of maple syrup. Once you have everything ready, here are the steps to preparing this meal. Step 1. Slice your chicken into strips. Add salt and pepper to taste. Step 2. Add your chicken to a pan and cook until they start to turn brown. Step 3. Prepare your pancake batter. Afterwards, add the chicken and protein powder. Cook until it solidifies. Step 4. Cook egg according to your preference, then add on top of the pancake and enjoy. One serving of this dish gives your body 45 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbohydrates, 9 grams of fat, and more. 2. High-protein banana bread. Next, if you love banana bread and at the same time, you want to increase your daily protein intake, try this recipe of Chris. As per ingredients, the following items are everything you need to prepare it. 1. 70 grams of low-fat yogurt. 2. 30 grams of whole flour. 3. 90 grams of raw almond flour. 4. 5 grams of baking powder. 5. 30 grams of whey protein isolate, unflavored. 6. 2 eggs. 7. 90 grams of bananas. Once you have everything in front of you, the following steps are everything you need to make this dish a reality. Step 1. Mix all your dry ingredients first, then all the wet ones. Step 2. Mash the bananas and beat the egg whites. Step 3. Afterwards, mix everything together and place it in an air fryer or oven for 15 minutes. The recipe gives your body 65 grams of protein, 70 grams of carbohydrates, 50 grams of fat, and more. About Chris. Brought up in Paris and living an international life in the melting pot that is Hong Kong, found either with a whisk in one hand or a dumbbell in the other, Chris strives to bake delicious and healthy recipes by combining the art of French cuisine with his background in sports nutrition. Follow him on his IG account for more delicious recipes. Takeaway Fulfilling your bodybuilding goals this 2023 is easier thanks to these five recipes. Aside from their high-protein content, they also contain nutrients essential to keeping your body healthy. So head over to your local grocery and shop the ingredients you need to make these dishes. Who knows? You might just find your new favorite meal today.